This is a mercury vapour lamp. It's rated at 80 watts, and it cost me £3.95. And I want to see how much power I can stuff through it before it gives in. Now that may sound quite aimless and destructive, but really it's not. There is some, albeit vague, scientific basis. Because it's an arc lamp, it has some significant tolerance to overload. If a typical incandescent lamp is overloaded, the filament melts and the bulb ceases to produce any light, whereas an arc lamp has no filament. So the worst that should happen is the tube heats up a little too much, a little too quickly, and pressure builds until it ruptures. Kind of like a coconut. But how much can it take? Well, to find out, I connected this lamp in series with a variable ballast and started it off running at 200 watts. That way it warms up a little quicker than normal because I'm really impatient. Our clamps are what's called negative resistance devices, which means they will pull as much current as they possibly can, which I think is really arrogant of them, so we need the ballast to limit this. For the same reason, these lamps have a 3-pin bayonet fitting to prevent accidental installation into a normal light socket without any form of current limiting. Once it had warmed up to operating temperature, I began switching in larger values on the ballast, quickly discovering that it gets ridiculously bright, and once I got up to a thousand watts, it cut out. But there was no explosion. The tube never ruptured, which was very disappointing, until I discovered that a BS1362 fuse is no match for this lamp and had blown. So I bodged that in a <clears throat> safe and controllable manner, using a specially designed solid aluminium substitute, still protected of course by a 32 amp breaker. This time I was able to reach a kilowatt with no issues, other than temporary blindness, and quickly surpassed 2000, then 3000, and 4000 watts. At this point, it's no longer even possible to quantify how bright this lamp is in itself. Even the reflections on the walls nearby were uncomfortable to look at. And the heat from such a tiny little lamp was just staggering. It was comparable to a midsummer's day in direct sunlight. When finally, at just over five kilowatts, the lamp blew. Unfortunately, the envelope remained intact at least containing the small quantity of mercury vapour, but the tube inside definitely ruptured. So it took over 5,000 watts before this lamp suffered almost instantaneous structural failure. That's more than 60 times its rated power consumption. For this tiny little lamp. Funny the things you learn, pushing the limits. <laughs>